Good morning. My name is Michael Petrellis, and uh, I am running for the BART board on uh, District 9. Um, what I want to address on this item is I, I'm very happy that you've given this award, very happy you brought in uh, law enforcement to uh, be uh, on your agenda early in the meeting. Um, what I think needs to be done, though, to expand uh, public engagement is occasionally um, you need to um, have special guests uh, from the public. You need to acknowledge and invite um, advocates for BART, who are not part of law enforcement, who are not part of the contractor community, who are just regular riders, and get them to come to these meetings. Um, give them special recognition um, at the start of your meetings. There is way too little public engagement by this board in terms of excuse me, in terms of acknowledging um, everyone who rides BART, and I see there are many people behind me who, um, uh, th there are more folks here than the last time I was at a meeting, uh, and uh, I'm glad for that, but I think that um, it's quite telling that your agendas for this item really don't include members of the public. Um, and, and uh, singling them out who come to these meetings and want to have input into your um, uh, proceedings. So I'm asking you to figure out ways to bring in BART advocates, public transit advocates, advocates for the homeless who are dealing with the homeless folks who are hanging out at the station, and give them recognition um, as you've done for uh, Mr. McPartland. Thank you. Michael Petrellis again. Um, I first of all want to start by thanking um, all of the BART workers and managers who have quickly responded to numerous um, service requests I've made um, for um, changes at the 16th Street BART Plaza. Um, it, I have to thank the workers for um, putting more pigeon spiking up, for um, getting rid of dead trees, um, uh, for also um, closing the holes. There used to be two big holes where trees were um, at one of the bar plazas at 16th Street that people were tripping over, okay? Um, I got to thank the workers for cleaning the BART sign. I got to thank them for lighting that BART sign, okay? Um, and um, uh, there, there's been uh, concerted effort uh, by a number of agencies um, that have some responsibility over this plaza to do better maintenance and cleaning, such as the Department of Public Works. Um, I had a tour with um, six agencies two weeks ago. This was covered by Mission Local. The tour was covered by Mission Local and is also on my social media. Um, unfortunately, BART did not come on this tour. Um, uh, but one thing we learned on the tour was that the Department of Public Works is cleaning up BART sidewalks because your maintenance crews aren't getting out there enough. And uh, because I've been complaining to the Department of Public Works, they're just getting the job done. But it's not right that um, your maintenance crews are not getting out there regularly. We are not seeing visible proof that the debris is being moved away. Um, I've requested, and there's a tentative um, agreement to have the general manager come on a tour with me of the 16th Street Plaza after the election. There is a desperate need for um, all folks with responsibilities at BART to get to 16th Street and uh, meet with folks who can't make 8 a. Excuse me, make 9 a.m. meetings. Um, regarding meetings, um, you've got to get evening meetings scheduled. It is shameful that out of four, more than 400,000 riders, there are just a handful of us here. That is telling you what you're doing now regarding your meeting schedule is not good enough. Finally, I have to deplore the current director, Tom Radulovich. There is no evidence that you have taken interest in the public health of that plaza. You have been here for 20 years, and it is a shameful blot on your record that the 16th Street Plaza is filthy, it is caked with pigeon poop, that there is no visible evidence you care about that plaza and the public health needs that have to be addressed. That, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm Michael Petralis again. I'm really glad that you're considering um, expanding um, data access and information access and that you're couching it in terms of um, better public engagement. Um, I think this is really terrific. Um, uh, one thing I want to uh, promote is that um, you include information about all requests for documents that are made. Uh, the City of Oakland has a portal that's really terrific where they show all requests that have come in to all agencies. It's a one-stop um, portal to file your request. Um, you can see who's requested something. Um, uh, how the agency uh, that's received the request is dealing with it, and then once data is produced, it's shared on their site. I think if you could follow what they're doing, uh, that would be really terrific. Um, I'd really like to see the information about management salaries um, included in your open data portal. Um, I recently filed a public records request for the salaries, and um, I think for the top 10 uh, managers, starting with um, Grace Krunikin, uh, the general manager, and once I put that information on my social media, there were a lot of um, hits. That people really wanted that information. Um, the other thing I want to discuss um, uh, in terms of information access is has nothing really to do with um, information online. It comes from spending a lot of time at the 16th Street Plaza. You have um, five display cases behind plastic that have no information there. Uh, I can tell you, campaigning at that um, location um, throughout the time I am there, I see um, mothers with children and um, the, the, the big um, carriages for the children. Um, uh, folks with uh, big luggage on wheels. And they all get to that up escalator part. I'm talking the plaza near the Wells Fargo Bank. That's the western uh, plaza. And there's no signage there telling people where the elevator is. The elevator is all the way across the street, across Mission Street, at Walgreens. The BART sign telling you where that elevator is, is at knee level once you get off the escalator. I have never seen any mother with all her kids and carriages look at the up escalator knee position and that sign then says the um, escalator elevators across the way. I am proposing that you look at using those display cases with a big picture of here is the elevator. Here is how you get to the elevator. Many people need that information in terms of having access to BART. So please consider that as part of your engagement with the public.